My name is Robert Helmberger. I was 23 years old when I got into a Highline wire. I was just out of the Air Force. I was unloading grain at this big hog farm. And uh, I got into a Highline wire with my auger. I and another guy decided to get it off. There was no shut off at that time, but I was just barely hooked on it. So I tried to lift it up a little bit and apparently I must have touched the other wire because when it got me, I didn't know what happened and I woke up in the Mayo Clinic so they operated and took a leg above the knee. They took my left arm below the elbow. They took all of my toes. And then I had injuries on my stomach, but it didn't go all the way through. So they had to do repairs on that, which was skin grafting. And uh, I was there three months, finally got to go home. As far as safety goes, you just got to be aware of everything around you every day when you go to work. If you do that, you should be a real good chance of being safe the rest of your life. And because it only takes one one second, and you're injured, don't ever take it for granted. Just make sure that you always remember that. It was June 21st of 2009. It was Father's Day. We got a call that a couple consumers are out of power, so me and the guy I was on call with, we went down to the shop and headed out, and typical outage, nothing new, nothing strange. Um, we got there, disconnected a line. It was a three-phase line. I was stepping around a four-inch PVC pipe to get to the other side to do some work when my hook slipped out. Uh, the first thing I remember is I remember hearing my hard hat hit the top of his. The only thing I don't remember is the actual contact. I, I, to this day, I can remember everything just as it happened except for that actual contact. I understood exactly what happened. I knew, I knew exactly what everybody was doing and in the order that it was gonna happen. The field was wet, muddy. They got the truck down there. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't talk at that moment, but I could hear and, and see what was going on. My foreman come up and all I could tell him was, you can do it, just get me down, I know you can do it. And he ended up cutting my scare strap, got me down and we met the ambulance on the way to town. Uh, the, the scariest thing for me was, is all I could think about was my family. My foreman at the time, he called my wife and picked her up and went to the hospital. I received skin grafts the day after I got there. Um, it was just a lot of monitoring. They basically, before you get the skin grafts, they basically let that electricity finish cooking you. It's, it's the best way to put it. Everything we do is safety oriented. If, if I tell the guys that work with me, if there's ever anything you're not comfortable with, if you don't like, the way I explain it, you're still not comfortable, don't do it. It's, at the end of the day, all it comes down to is everybody needs to go home. So we have, I mean, we have rubber gloves, hard hats, rubber sleeves. I mean, it's everything you do with safety is number one.